Alright guys, so today we're going to make some country fried chicken strips, or you can call them southern fried chicken strips, or just go ahead and call them chicken strips, it doesn't matter what you call them. What we're going to need here is some chicken. I'm just going to use a piece of chicken breast, it's a great piece to use. And uh, you know, you can buy a big piece of chicken or just buy multiple pieces of chicken breast. Now mine looks slightly cooked here, that's because mine was frozen and I defrosted it in the microwave. So that's why it looks a little funny. But you know, you want your chicken to be around room temperature when you're starting this. So I'm going to cut off that part. So we're going to go ahead and cut that up and slice it into pieces. But before we do that, I'm going to let you know what you need to use. I've got one container here, which is going to be for my flour mix. And in my flour mix, I'm going to add my flour, some salt, some pepper, some, uh, ooh, not that. That's, that's chili powder. I don't want that. Replace that. We're going to use some paprika. Some garlic powder, some onion powder, and that's about all you need. But I'm going to add in a little bit of this beer can chicken seasoning I have. It's just a little bit of extra chicken seasoning. And I've also got some parsley. So let me go ahead and get to the next step here. Alright, so I've gone ahead to the next step here. And as you can see, I've sliced up four strips out of my uh, chicken breast there. And I got rid of that slightly cooked part from the defrosting process. I'd recommend you defrost it <coughs> slower but I defrosted it in the microwave this time. I've also got about one cup of flour in this high lid container. It's easier to use a high lid container. It's easy to shake the chicken around. So let me go ahead and also show you the pan here. Use a large enough pan, but the bigger the pan, the more oil you have to use. So kind of think about how much chicken you're making and how big of a pan and how much oil you want to use. So we got my uh, oil here. I'm gonna fill up the pan probably about halfway here. I want it to be full enough that the chicken can fully submerge, but I don't have to waste it. So it's about half full, and let me just get a little bit more in there. And now what I'm going to do is place this pan on my stove and turn that on to medium-high heat. And that's going to have to heat up for about 10 minutes. I mean, think about how long water takes to boil. So you're going to want to let that heat up fully. Don't just, you know, go too quick. Just let that sit and heat up. So now we've got our flour in here. We're going to go ahead and add some salt. I'm doing this just by eye, uh, but you can do about, for your one cup of flour, you can add about a tablespoon of the salt and pepper and then about a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of everything else. But I'm just going to do it by eye here. So I'm going to add in some salt here, some pepper, some paprika, some garlic powder, some onion powder and then I've got this mix here and just gonna put a little bit of this in and then like I said I'm gonna add some paprika here oh, this one's closed so then the reason I like using a high bowl you can put the top on if you want but if you're careful just, you know, get it all mixed in good. You don't want one piece of chicken to have all the flavoring and the rest to just get flour. You want it all mixed in good. So then we're going to end up with something like this. All mixed in batter. Now some people will do an extra step where you dip your chicken in eggs and milk first. You can do that. Um, this time I'm not going to. You don't have to. Uh, but some people do that step. So if you want to add in that step, have a separate uh, bowl with uh, two eggs and uh, just a tiny bit of milk. And then you could dip your chicken in there and then put them in here. Don't have to do that. It's you know everyone's personal preference. So what I'm going to do here now, just throw my chicken in here. And then shake it up. It's okay, I'm making a little mess if some flies out. But I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to wipe off my counter when I'm done. I was working with chicken anyways. And now, we're going to end up with coated chicken strips. So i got to let my pan heat up. And once uh, all my oil is heated up, we'll go on to the next step. Alright guys, now my oil's all heated up. You can test your oil by taking a little bit of flour, just a little pinch, and see how it sizzles up. That means you're ready to go. So I'm ready to cook. I'm just going to give my chicken one last little shake here, make sure I got it all covered good. And now, use some tongs or a metal slotted uh, spoon or spatula. You don't want to really do this by hand because you might end up burning your hands. So once you got it ready, Go ahead and place your chicken in one at a time. And then after our chicken's all in here, 
chicken strips of this size need to cook about 10 minutes maximum, anywhere between 7 and 10 minutes. Uh, it's pretty hard to overcook them unless you cook them way too long. So, um, you know, cooking 10 minutes is nice and safe. Your extra flour mix here, I've still got a lot left. Your extra flour mix you can cover, put in a plastic bag or if you got it in a Tupperware like I do, just cover it. And you could save it for about a week. So I can, you know, cook chicken strips tomorrow and have my mix ready. And actually your oil you can use for a couple days too. You don't have to just throw that out. So you can reuse the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook here for about 8 minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. Alright guys, so it's been just about 8 minutes and they're looking just fine. They're just about done. Nice and golden brown. I have a plate ready with some paper towel. As you can see back here, I have a regular towel because I actually just ran out of paper towels just earlier today. I haven't got more yet. So when they're done, you're going to want to place them on a paper towel to let the uh, oil run off. So I'm going to say these are pretty much done right around 8 to 10 minutes. is just perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat. And then we're going to uh, take these out and just place them on your paper towel. Let some of that oil uh, get out of there. And look at that guys, they look awesome. Let me go ahead and bring them over to a, a plate and we'll take a final look at them. Alright, here we go, finished chicken. Now finish these off with any barbecue sauce, honey mustard, whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead just for you guys to cut, cut one open so you guys can see the inside. What you're looking for is a nice white juicy chicken, but at the same, oh my knife needs to be sharper. White juicy chicken, but at the same time not dried out and no pink. So there you go, no pink nice and white perfectly done so there we have it guys how to easily make country fried chicken or fried chicken strips at home turn out great every time really simple to do and uh, it's gonna cost less than buying it in the store and probably more healthy too you can choose what type of oil you want so anyways guys have any questions let me know I'm gonna go ahead and eat these things I'm sure they're awesome so we'll see you guys next time